What's going on everybody, so I'm back to the video and today's video I have an awesome video where there's this new meta that came out last night where you guys can update to iOS 14.3 if you are on 14.2.1 or lower without having your blob saved. So before we get into that, I want to give a huge shout out to Laxman, Ravindra Kumar. If you guys want to be shouted out on the next video, all you guys have to do is drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and comment something down below in the comment section positive and you guys can be shout out in the next video. So this new method came out late last night so um, for anyone who was late on updating to iOS 14.3 to jailbreak device so I believe this will work even if you're on iOS 13 and um, obviously Apple stopped signing 14.3 to jailbreak a device you guys can actually update now but this will require you to be on 14.2.1 or lower or will not work so for example if you're on 14.4 you will not be able to downgrade this is for updating not downgrading so this a uh, reddit page I'm linked down below in the description Unfortunately, I can't show you guys the process because I don't have any devices currently on 14.2.1 and below, but I'll kind of run down through the instructions with you guys. So um, it says, first off, make sure you're not locking OTA updates for this to work because uh, some of you guys may know a lot of people update or download these profiles where it blocks the updates. So you obviously want to make sure that uh, you have uh, don't have any of that enabled. So the first step is optional where it's asking you guys to restore FS in the uncover application or whatever jailbreak you're currently using um, and then erase content and settings basically in the settings application. You don't have to do this, this is optional so um, I believe most people probably won't do this just because they don't want to lose all their data and stuff like that. So the second step is jailbreak your current iOS version. So uh, if you're on, like I said, if you're on iOS 14.0 or you're on iOS 13.5, just make sure you're jailbroken. And then the next step is open up your package manager, which is either going to be like Cydia, Zebra, Silo, and you have to add this source right here and then install this uh, file. So basically just go to sources, edit, add, add this source right here, the URL, and then you want to install this from that specific uh, repo. So once you have done that, it says install this attached profile, which is right here. So this is the link that you guys want to click on and install profile. If you don't know how to install profile, it's really easy. You just click on the link and you're going to have to go to your settings application and then you should get a pop up where it says uh, profile installed and then install the profile from there, which I believe a lot of you guys will know if you've installed like any third party apps uh, back then. So after that, it says check the settings application to see if iOS 14.3 shows up as an OTA update. So all you would have to do is just go to your settings after you install the profile and then your like general tab software update and see if you have an update for 14.3. And then after that, if you do see that, all you guys have to do is just open up your Uncover app and restore uh, root, uh, root FS, sorry. Um, and then after that, you guys should be able to update to iOS 14.3. So after you've done that, you should be on 14.3 by then, and then you're gonna be able to jailbreak on that specific firmware. So I know a lot of people are having issues right now. I'm over on Twitter, everyone's talking about it right now. So if you have any issues, just kind of read through this thread and see what people experience. Cause I know a lot of people aren't able to update right now just because um, a lot of people are getting like service errors and stuff like that. And that's on Apple end. So you may have to try it again later, but like I said, it's kind of buggy right now. Um, it's a trial and error. So you probably won't get it working on the first try. So just be patient on that. And if you really want to look into depth on what, on how this works, you guys can click on the GitHub link right here. So I'm gonna leave this read it post down below in the description so you guys can go check it out i do apologize for not making a full tutorial on this but i did want to let you guys know for anyone who is on 14.2.1 or lower uh, and doesn't have their blob saved and wants to update to 14.3 so i find this extremely useful if you're on ios 13 and you want to update to 14.3 because obviously you can't do that now because apple stopped signing the firmware so this is an amazing way to do it without having your blob saved and having apple sign this firmware so yeah guys that's basically it for the video hope you guys did enjoy this one if you guys did make sure you guys drop a like on the video hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell see you guys in the next video that's basically it and i'll see you guys in the next one